I don't take anything for granted at all. Like, I faced death like two or three times in my life, so I really like. I think I'm very blessed, and I, I'm very grateful to even have the opportunity that I do have and the opportunity that I have always had. I think I'm blessed either way. My umbilical cord from my belly button wrapped was wrapped tight around my wrist and it was kind of like cutting through I'm guessing so my I came out and my wrist was like hanging like halfway off I'm, I'm happy it didn't cut all the way around but I guess I'm blessed unbelievable demeanor he's got a strong work ethic and he's he, he's un undeniable I mean you're not gonna deny the kid an opportunity he's gonna fight for it and I mean and that, that, that stems from his early childhood and all the stories we've learned. The dog took his football and he wanted his football back and he went to go fight and beat up the dog. Some crazy stuff like that. My cousin and I were playing catch and he kind of threw the ball like a little far <laughs> over my head and it rolled over there by the dog. So as the dog grabbed the ball and started biting it, I'll try to go and get my ball back. I guess one of his footballs got over into a, uh, a around the doghouse of a pit bull, and the pit bull had his football, so he went back to go get it. I don't know, he was young. I mean, I know he was under 10. So I'm trying to grab it out the, the dog mouth, as I remember, and he didn't let go. You know how dogs is. So I stopped punching him so it wouldn't go flat. I, I, I tried to get my ball back. So I guess he let go of the ball, and by the time I grabbed that, he grabbed me by my shoulder and started shaking. And I remember fighting him, trying to bite him back. And after that, I just passed out. Torres is, I think it's his right shoulder up a good bit, uh, but he got his football back that day. My ear, you probably can't see it, but they, they kind of like glued it. They didn't want to stitch it, I was too young. It was hanging up, it was like, kind of tapping my jaw cheeks and stuff. <laughs> but I was so numb, I couldn't feel it. I wasn't even crying, my mama was crying. I'm like, why are you crying? I was fighting back. <laughs> if I see my mom cry, like, I automatically start crying. And I don't even like crying. Like, just as a man, I don't, I don't even like crying. But if I see my mom crying, it just, it just tears me up. I don't know how I just feel the pain that she feels all the time, but I do. The dog could have really killed me. I think I'm, I'm just blessed. So I try to take advantage of every, opp every opportunity that I get. I've always wanted to play Division One football. I and mean, then compared to JUCO to this, it's a huge step. One thing about James is James come in from day one and just try to have an impact and be a, not only be on this team, be, be on the first team. And I, I don't think that he's, you know, I don't think he's ever been on the second team for, for as long as I've known him. Uh, but that's just the type of person he is. This is my dream, just playing Division One football. I don't even have to make it to the NFL. I'm living my dreams now. I'm just motivated by just the grind and the every Juco player I want to represent what they're going through now and what other JUCO players have been through and the long journey that, that it took me to get here. It's, a, it's been a long journey. I just want to just pour it out. And everything that I've been through, I just want to pour it out on the field come game day.